चैप्टर टू इज मैटर अराउंड अ स्प्योर क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन सब्जेक्ट साइंस क्वेश्चन पेज फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन वन वट इज मीन बाय अ सब्सटांस आंसर अ सब्सटांस इज अ प्योर सिंगल फॉर्म ऑफ मैटर इट हैज डेफिनेट प्रॉपर्टीज एंड कॉम्पोजिशन एग्जाम्पल आयरन क्वेश्चन टू लिस्ट द पॉइंट ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन होमोजीनियस एंड हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर्स आंसर होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर पार्टिकल्स आर यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू आउट द मिक्सचर हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर ऑल द पार्टिकल्स आर कम्प्लीटली मिक्सड एंड कैन बी डिस्टिंग्विश विद द बेयर आईज और अंडर अ माइक्रोस्कोप होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर एज अ यूनिफॉर्म कॉम्पोजिशन हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर इन रेगुलर कॉम्पोजिशन होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर नो एपरेंट बाउंड्रीज ऑफ डिविजन हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर नोटिसबल बाउंड्रीज ऑफ डिविजन पेज एटीन क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वन डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन होमोजीनियस एंड हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर विद एग्जाम्पल्स आंसर द फॉलोइंग आर द डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन हेट्रोजीनियस एंड होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर ऑल द पार्टिकल्स आर कम्प्लीटली मिक्स एंड कैन बी डिस्टिंग्विश विद द बेयर आईज और अंडर अ माइक्रोस्कोप होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर पार्टिकल्स आर यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू आउट द मिक्सचर हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर इन रेगुलर कॉम्पोजिशन होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर हैज अ यूनिफॉर्म कॉम्पोजिशन हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर नोटिसबल बाउंड्रीज ऑफ डिविजन होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर नो एपरेंट बाउंड्रीज ऑफ डिविजन हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर एग्जाम्पल्स सी वाटर ब्लड एक्सेट्रा होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर एग्जाम्पल्स रेन वाटर विनेगर एक्सेट्रा क्वेश्चन टू हाउ आर सोल सोल्यूशन एंड सस्पेंशन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर आंसर सोल टाइप ऑफ मिक्सचर हेट्रोजीनियस सोल्यूशन टाइप ऑफ मिक्सचर होमोजीनियस सस्पेंशन टाइप ऑफ मिक्सचर हेट्रोजीनियस सोल साइज ऑफ पार्टिकल्स टेन टू दावर माइनस सेवन टू टेन टू दावर माइनस फाइव सेंटीमीटर सोल्यूशन साइज ऑफ पार्टिकल्स लेस देन वन नैनोमीटर सस्पेंशन साइज ऑफ पार्टिकल्स मोर देन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर सोल टेंडल इफेक्ट एग्जिबिटेड सोल्यूशन टेंडल इफेक्ट नॉट एग्जिबिटेड सस्पेंशन टेंडल इफेक्ट मे और मे नॉट बी एग्जिबिटेड सोल अपियरेंस यूजली ग्लासी एंड क्लियर सोल्यूशन अपियरेंस अनक्लाउडेड एंड क्लियर सस्पेंशन अपियरेंस क्लाउडी एंड ओके सोल विजिबिलिटी विजिबल विद एन अल्ट्रा माइक्रोस्कोप सोल्यूशन विजिबिलिटी नॉट विजिबल सस्पेंशन विजिबिलिटी विजिबल विद द नेकेड आई सोल डिफ्यूजन डिफ्यूज इज वेरी स्लोली सोल्यूशन डिफ्यूज इज रैपिडली सस्पेंशन डू नॉट डिफ्यूज एट्रीब्यूट स्टेबिलिटी सोल प्रिटी स्टेबल सोल्यूशन हाईली स्टेबल सस्पेंशन अनस्टेबल एट्रीब्यूट सेटलिंग सोल गेट सेटल्ड इन सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन सोल्यूशन डू नॉट सेटल सस्पेंशन सेटल ऑन देयर ओन एट्रीब्यूट एग्जाम्पल सोल मिल्क ब्लड स्मोक सोल्यूशन सॉल्ट सोल्यूशन शुगर सोल्यूशन सस्पेंशन सेंड इन वाटर डस्टी एयर क्वेश्चन थ्री टू मेक अ सेचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन थर्टी सिक्स ग्राम ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड इज डिजोल्व इन हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ वाटर एट टू नाइन्टी थ्री कैलविन फाइंड इट्स कंसनट्रेशन एट दिस टेम्परेचर आंसर मास ऑफ सोल्यूट एन ए सी एल सोडियम क्लोराइड इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स ग्राम मास ऑफ सोलवेंट एच टू ओ वाटर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड ग्राम मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन एन ए सी एल प्लस एच टू ओ इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड प्लस थर्टी सिक्स दैट इज वन थर्टी सिक्स ग्राम कंसनट्रेशन इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ सोल्यूट डिवाइडेड बाय मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन इन टू हंड्रेड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ सोल्यूट थर्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन वन थर्टी सिक्स इन टू हंड्रेड is equal to 26.47%. Hence, the concentration of the solution is 26.47%. Page 19, questions. Question 1, classify the following as chemical or physical changes. Answer: First, cutting of trees, physical change. Second, melting of butter in a pan, physical change. Rusting of almira, chemical change. Boiling of water to form steam, physical change. passing of electric current through water and the water breaking down into hydrogen and oxygen gases chemical change dissolving common salt in water physical change 
making a fruit salad with raw fruits physical change burning of paper and wood chemical change question 2 try segregating the things around you as pure substances or mixtures answer pure substance water salt sugar etc mixture salt water soil wood air cold drink rubber sponge fog milk water clothes and food exercises question 1 which separation techniques will you apply for the separation of the following answer sodium chloride from its solution in water in water sodium chloride in its solution can be separated through the process of evaporation b ammonium chloride from a mixture containing sodium chloride and ammonium chloride answer the technique of sublimation is apt as ammonium chloride supports sublimation c small pieces of metal in the engine oil of a car answer tiny chunks of metal pieces in the engine oil of a car can be manually filtered d different pigments from an extract of flower petals answer chromatography can be used for the fine segregation of various pigments from an extract of flower petals e butter from curd the technique of centrifugation can be applied to separate butter from curd it is based on the concept of difference in density f oil from water to separate oil from water which are two immiscible liquids which vary in their densities using a funnel can be an effective method g tea leaves from tea tea leaves can be manually separated from tea using simple filtration methods h iron pins from sand iron pins can be separated from sand either manually or with the use of magnets as the pins exhibit strong magnetic quality which can be a key characteristic taken into consideration i wheat grains from husk the differentiating property between husk and wheat is that there is a difference in their mass if treated with a small amount of wind energy a remarkable variation in the moving distance is noticed hence to separate them the sedimentation winnowing procedure can be applied j fine mud particles suspended in water due to the property of water sand or fine mud particles tends to sink in the bottom as it is denser provided they are undisturbed through the process of sedimentation decantation water can be separated from fine mud particles as the technique is established on obtaining clear water by tilting it out question 2 write the steps you would use for making tea use the word solution solvent solute dissolve soluble insoluble filtrate and residue answer a into a vessel add a cup of milk which is the solvent and supply it with heat b add tea powder or tea leaves to the boiling milk which acts as a solute continue to heat c the solute that is the tea powder remains insoluble in the milk which can be observed while it is still boiling d at this stage add some sugar to the boiling solution while stirring e sugar is a solute but is soluble in the solvent f continuous stirring causes the sugar to dissolve completely in the tea solution reaching saturation g once the raw smell of the tea leaves vanishes and the tea solution is boiled enough take the solution off the heat filter or strain it to separate the tea powder and the tea solution the insoluble tea powder remains as a residue while the solute sugar and the solvent essence milk solution strain through the filter medium which is collected as the filtrate question 3 pragya tested the solubility of three different substances at different temperatures and collected the data as given below results are given in the following table as grams of a substance dissolved in 100 grams of water to form a saturated solution so this is the table friends a what mass of potassium nitrate would be needed to produce a saturated solution of potassium nitrate in 50 grams of water at 313 kelvin answer given mass of potassium nitrate required to produce a saturated solution in 100 gram of water at 313 kelvin is equal to 62 g so here is potassium nitrate and this is 313 kelvin and 62 g is given here mass of potassium nitrates required to produce a saturated solution in 50 g of water 
is equal to 62 into 50 divided by 100 is equal to 31. Hence, 31 gram of potassium nitrate is required. B. Pragya makes a saturated solution of potassium chloride in water at 353 Kelvin and leaves the solution to cool at room temperature. What would she observe as the solution cools? Explain. The solubility of potassium chloride in water is decreased when a saturated solution of potassium chloride loses heat at 353 Kelvin. Consequently, Pragya would observe crystals of potassium chloride which would have surpassed its solubility at low temperatures. C. Find the solubility of each salt at 293 Kelvin. Which salt has the highest solubility at this temperature? Answer. As per the given data, solubility of potassium nitrate at 293 Kelvin is equal to 32 gram. This one. Second, solubility of sodium chloride at 293 Kelvin is equal to 36 gram. This one. Solubility of potassium chloride at 293 Kelvin is equal to 35 gram. This one. Solubility of ammonium chloride at 293 Kelvin is equal to 37 gram. This one. We can observe from this data that ammonium chloride has the highest solubility at 293 Kelvin. That is 37 gram. D. What is the effect of change of temperature on the solubility of a salt? Answer. Effect of change of temperature on the solubility of salts. The table clearly depicts that the solubility of the salt is dependent upon the temperature and increases with an increase in temperature. With this, we can infer that when a salt arrives at its saturation point at a specific temperature, there is a propensity to dissolve more salt through an increase in the temperature of the solution. Question 4. Explain the following giving examples. A. Saturated solution. It is the state in a solution at a specific temperature when a solvent is no more soluble without an increase in temperature. Example, excess carbon leaves off as bubbles from a carbonated water solution saturated with carbon. B. Pure substance. A substance is said to be pure when it comprises only one kind of molecule, atom or compound without adulteration with any other substance or any divergence in the structural arrangement. Examples Sulfur, Diamonds, etc. C. Colloid A colloid is an intermediate between solution and suspension. It has particles of various sizes that range between 2 to 1000 nanometers. Colloids can be distinguished from solutions using the Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect is defined as the scattering of light, light beam, through a colloidal solution. Examples Milk and Gelatin D. Suspension it is the heterogeneous mixture that comprises solute particles that are insoluble but are suspended in the medium. These particles that are suspended are not microscopic but visible to bare eyes and are large enough, usually larger than a micrometer, to undergo sedimentation. Question 5. Classify each of the following as homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Soda water, wood, air, soil, vinegar, filtered tea. The following is the classification of the given substances into homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures, soda water, vinegar, filtered tea, air. Heterogeneous mixture, wood, soil. Question 6. How would you confirm that a colorless liquid given to you is pure water? Answer. We can confirm if a colorless liquid is pure by setting it to boil. If it boils at 100 degrees Celsius, it is said to be pure. But if there is a decrease or increase in the boiling point, we infer that water has added impurities, hence not pure. Question 7. Which of the following materials fall into the category of pure substance? A. Ice B. Milk C. Iron D. Hydrochloric Acid E. Calcium Oxide F. Mercury G. Brick E. Wood F. Air Following substances from the above mentioned list are pure substances. Iron, Ice, Hydrochloric Acid, Calcium Oxide, Mercury. Question 8. Identify the solutions among the following mixtures. A. Soil, B. Sea water, C. Air, D. Coal, E. Soda water. Answer. 
the following are the solutions from the above mentioned list of mixtures sea water air soda water question 9 which of the following will show the tindall effect a salt solution b milk c copper sulfate solution d starch solution answer tindall effect is exhibited by only milk and starch solution from the above mentioned list of solutions question 10 classify the following into elements compounds and mixtures answer elements sodium silver tin silicon compounds calcium carbonate carbon dioxide methane mixture soil sugar solution coal air blood soap question 11 which of the following are chemical changes a growth of a plant b rusting of iron c mixing of iron fillings and sand d cooking of food e digestion of food f freezing of water g burning of candle answer out of the given list the following are chemical changes growth of a plant rusting of iron cooking of food digestion of food and burning of candles friends we have completed all the question answers from the chapter if you find the video useful kindly like it for any other queries kindly comment in the comment section thank you for watching